Well, friends, it's been a, a tough hike up here, but I tell you, it's rewarding. Let's see what kind of symbols we have here. Well, I can tell you, this is a really fantastic cave. The first thing that I noticed was the blackened ceiling. So that means man existed here inside the cave. They cooked here. This is the soot from fires right up here. One of the reasons I know that man also existed here is look at this. I see one, two, three, four, five mortars in this area. My goodness, this is fantastic. And I see a beautiful pictograph over there. And along the ceiling, I see several more over here that we're gonna examine. What we're doing right now is taking a quick view. But I'll tell you what, I'm excited. This is really fascinating. Well, friends, this is fantastic. We've seen mortars in here, we've seen pictographs, and right now before us, we see petroglyphs. These are symbols left behind by ancient man. But I tell you what, the fantastic thing is as I looked at these symbols over here, I saw the bear paw symbol. Let's go over there and take a look. Look at this, my friends. This is absolutely fantastic. Can you see it right here? Well, the fantastic thing about this bear paw symbol, you can see the pad of the bear here. And these are the toes right over here. These are the toes, the bear paws. But look, right above it, right over here, this fine details, those are the claws. This is really fantastic. I've often seen the bear paw symbols and you see the toes, but right over here, as I said, these little marks over here are his claw, actually. And look, right above it, we have some more cupul symbols. This is really fantastic. So this is what the cave looks like. Let me show you. It's not large, it's a small cave, but the symbolism here is just absolutely fantastic. Well, friends, as we examine the petroglyphs and the pictographs, I'll tell you, it's truly fascinating. As you look at a pictograph, you start noticing elements that maybe you didn't see at a first glance. Right over here, if you look at the head, he's got horns coming out of his head. And then look over here, right in the center of the body, there looks like some kind of flying insect or flying bird creature right in the middle. But look at this, right here at the left, this is the image of a salamander right over here. Do you see it right beside this figure? And look at right below it. Look at the, oh, beautiful, I guess, uh, design. Okay, as we go down, we can see the feet and some more designs, and we go to the right. And then as we go to the right, we see this classic zigzag sign right here, right over there. And of course, this other beautiful motif right over here. I'll tell you, this is really fantastic. And over here, right next to it is a, another symbol. Hard to tell what it is, but it's beautiful in this red okra. Now on the ceiling, there's some more figures, somewhat faded, but oh my goodness, look at that. If you look real close, it's a human, it looks, well, I say it's a human figure, but it certainly looks like something standing up right there. Look at that. This is another salamander. Oh my goodness, look. You can see the feet there. You can see the feet there. There's the elongated body right there. And then you can see the head above and the, I guess the front legs, so to speak. My goodness, this is really wonderful. As we look at this pictograph to our left and I pan over and I go this way here to the right as I look over I see another series of cupules right there before us if you can see them there and I'm looking over here and I see another series of cupules right over here directly in front of us but then right above these cupules we see another series of symbols this is really fantastic Look at this symbol over here. Again, it looks like some type of, I would say, animal. There's the legs right there. You can see the two front legs and perhaps the rest of the body, it's gone over here. But you can see legs here. So there's legs here and legs there. And it looks like some kind of tail over here. Can you see the tail? So I'm wondering if it's some kind of lizard. But look at this right above it. There is another, oh, it's hard to say what it is but it's got this beautiful motif. And then 
right above us, right there, is another, in brown coloring, another figure. This looks like another, oh, I would like to say salamander, but let's, let's take another look. Let's sit down and look back at the ceiling and see if we can decipher what we're looking at. Okay, there you go. There's this brown okra figure right over there. It looks like some kind of insect to me or some kind of, I would say, small animal. Hard to tell, not a lot of detail, but there you have it. And again, what we're going to do is pan down right over here. Beautiful pictographs. Well, as I was examining these cupules and I looked down over here, very faded, but if you can see this right over here, this is another bear paw symbol. There are the toes. Here's one. There's two of them right here. There's the toes here, there's the toes here, and then the rest of the pad over here. Now these are very ancient and faded, but they're right next to this large one which we can still see today very well, right over here. So as I said, there's two more. One right here and one right there. And again, right here, these wonderful cupules right beside the bear paw symbols. And this here is a fairly large one right over here and one above it. And you can tell that there was an ancient pictograph right up here. You can see right here part of the red dots. So this is gone. This is sandstone. It is not a good canvas for painting, so to speak, because this sandstone is very fragile to the elements and weathers very easily. Well, we're still hiking around the base of this monolithic place called Pool Rock. But look at this right over here. We're going to go down. There's another little shelter right over here. We're going to go examine it. This is really interesting, so to speak, because right over here, you can see this mortar right over here. This is really beautiful. We're going to walk to it together. And as I walk in here, look at this. So. I'm, this here is just below my waist level, so to speak. So, uh, you know, a person could actually maybe stand here or kneel right here. I'm kneeling right next to it. And there you, you start grinding your food and preparing it. So this is really a fantastic little place. Or you could sit over here. Look at this. This is the interior of the cave. You could sit in the cave here or right here in this shelter away from the heat. You know, over here in the summertime, it could be over 100 degrees. So you would want to be in a place that's shaded. So this is what's so fantastic about this little alcove here. Well, friends, directly in front of us is the pictograph area that we just came from. This great monolithic sandstone boulder is known as Pool Rock because there's a great natural cistern right there on top of it. So what we'll do is we'll hike around it. But look at this. You can tell ancient life was here. There's the remnants of a mortar right here. And you can see areas where food was prepared. Again, there's some shallow ones right over here. You can see them. Anyways, right up there, we're going to climb to the top. We're going to take you to the top of Pool Rock. So here's, a, here's another view of a Pool Rock. So we're going to go up there and uh, take a look at the top. As I said, this is a, a natural feature of this uh, stone or uh, sandstone outcrop. And that at the top of it, there's a natural cistern that uh, holds plenty of water during the uh, rainy season for quite a while. Well, let me show you something interesting, friends. You ask yourself, how the heck are we going to get on top of Pool Rock? I'm going to show you how the ancients did it at one time. Right over here, can you see this here? And this, and this right here, and this. These are natural footholds that lead all the way up to the top of Pool Rock. This is where we're going, my friends. What we're going to do is we're going to have my friend Dave. He's going to show you how these work. There he goes. He's put his foot there. This is exactly how the ancients did it. They walked up that mountain, that rock, just that way. When you look at it, it looks kind of scary. But you see how easy it is? No problem. Well, I'm next. And let's work our way up to the top. Well, Dave made it. <laughs> so I'm going over here. And I'm going to show you where I'm going to put my foot. 
in my first peg, so to speak. I want to do it right here. Okay, but at this point, right here, I'm turning the camera off because I don't want to slip and fall. But it looks fairly easy and I feel confident. Okay, I've made it up through the handholds and over here, you'll notice, in a winter time, in a spring time, or I should say in the autumn when it rains, water flows down here. But right now it's dry and we're going to follow this area right here all the way to the top. I tell you, this will be fun. Well, we're here to this first plateau area of this sandstone outcrop, and there you go. Look at this. This is a natural cistern. Can you imagine? This holds several hundred gallons of water. So once the rains stopped, you could have a supply of water right over here, I'm sure, for several months.